This is a watermelon pineapple lime smoothie seltzer. As always on half ass beer review. Little drink, big drink. Cheers, everyone. <laughs> Smooch Tropical Vacation. It's called Florida Seltzer. Sam Smith Nut Brown Ale. Black Rock Brewing Company's Coconut Brown. Burnside Brown Ale from Foundation Brewing Company. Soupy C. Hazel's Nuts. Fantastic. So, you know. smoothie. Uh, out of six for that smooge, man, I gotta say that strawberry banana I feel like is better. Mm -hmm. and, but keep in mind, I didn't like that as much as the one I chose, so I am going to say out of six, four, two, five. For my uh, seltzer, out of six, I think it's a five, one. Oh. I think it's great. I think I think I want to drink more of it. I'm gonna get more of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I Have you tried strawberry banana? Yeah, didn't I give me one? You gave me one, I haven't tried it yet. But but I just think overall, just like flavor wise, mm -hmm. the smell was a little weird. Yeah, the smell mm -hmm. was a little different. Consistency, consistency was weird. Yep. But yeah. just like it, it, big full flavor, it almost like you're drinking a juice with some like, mm -hmm. thickness yes. to it. With the smooge, I'm gonna go with a four. It's good. Okay. I would buy other smooge. I want to try other ones because yeah. this is my first time with them. But I've had other smoothie seltzers from Untitled that I have liked more than that. Okay. But it's still good. Right. Mm -hmm. It is I good. Gotcha. Yes. Black Rocks, coconut brown tone. That one is going to probably get like a... I, listen, I haven't had a lot of browns that blew me away like that. That kind of blew me away. I'm going to lean into like a four, or excuse me, like a five, three, five, four. Really? Dang. Yeah, I nice. was... That, that's you something like lot. That's something I want to explore more. I want right. to get that again. Yeah, cool. Cool. I mean, something especially when you're talking about browns. Yeah. Like that's got something that a lot of the other browns yeah, don't have. Yeah, it's definitely unique. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I like it. I enjoy it. I'm more in the four two four three category. What did you I get think this? It's good. What did you get that one? Five, five one. one. Five one. Yeah, I think that is very good. I think there are a lot better browns out there that I've experienced. It's, great. it's good. It's not. It's. I don't think it's anywhere near being great, mm -hmm. but it's solid choice for drinking brown ales. Yeah, really. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this is my first experience with browns, and I gotta say, I wasn't in love with any of the brown ales. Right. I I would go with like a three. Okay. I'm not in love That's with. Fine. I, I wouldn't buy any brown nails unless you had me try one that was like a very you you said hey this is a great brown nail and if it really did surprise me then I would think about it again but I would I'd go to a stout or a porter or an amber ale before I'd go to another mm -hmm. brown ale. Understandable, okay. and that's what's great about like just beer drinking in general. It's yeah. like it's perspective. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. How you feel, Stone? Uh, Stone. Stone. <laughs> Stone. Stone Choco Vesa. Stone Miller is uh, beginning his adult mm, film career. Yeah, definitely. Uh, that was, out of all of them, probably the biggest surprise. Mm -hmm. uh, even for a stout, uh, I was just, and I'm still blown away by the smell, by the flavor, and everything. Oh, God, to rate that, that's definitely at least a 5.5. Five. Um, I think I would need more time with it to see if it holds that 5.5, five, but... It's it's gonna it, it's potential to inch closer to that six I think than it would go backwards personally. I am just I, I like I said I have never had a stout that even come remotely close to being that unique in flavor, being boozy but not having that boozy feeling. Um, sweetness for sure. So I again I don't think it's something you could drink like uh, two or three in a row. You might be able to get away with one and maybe a second one in between some other ones. But um and and I, honestly I felt the stout game overall was probably the best set that we had because i felt like they were like you said kind of like in a higher platform than mm -hmm. the other two uh for mm -hmm. sure but yeah that that was blown away by that yeah i would i would be five seven five eight holy shit for that okay it's it's it, it's it has a very stout feel to it and then the carrot cake just kicks in it does everything it says it's yeah. going to do yeah and it's 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 great at what it's doing yeah like it's a great flavor it sticks with you oh, like you're still tasting better. it smells wonderful and the, the artwork on the bottle's great it's 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 a high five for me mm. for me i um there's a fat ass bitch on the bottle 
You're gonna ruin me. So, I all right. I I like it a lot. It's by far the most unique beer, bar none, I've ever had. Mm. I think. So from there, from that, that's a six out of six. The uniqueness, but as far as regularly drinking it, it would be this would be a special occasion type of beer for me. Not because of the price or anything like that. It's just it's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. It is. Yeah. Um, and so I would probably give it about a five. I think it's okay. great. Yeah. But it, it it's closer to just greatness for me than perfection. Okay. It's it the uniqueness though is is really pushing it forward and it's it goes down surprisingly smooth and easy for how boozy it is and for how uh, out there it is. I did not I didn't think it would be any good. I don't like okay. carrot cake. Okay. So like I personally was like this is gonna be weird. Yeah. But um, it's weird in a very good way. Yes. yes. And it's crazy because I'm I'm like thinking about it and it 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 gets a rating a lot like Untitled Artwork Stouts do. But I need to try more untitled, or I need to try more prairie Prairies. stouts yeah. before I can put them in that upper echelon like I do with Untitled right. Art. It's I don't know that it's my favorite stout I've ever had. Right. Oh, definitely not my favorite stout I've ever had. But it is. It's very, very great. Good. And I understand now why they sell them in singles because you you can't drink. It's very yeah. You wouldn't want a six or a right. four out of those. It's yeah. it's something that you want to take to like. A gathering, take a couple of them, and be like, "You guys have to try this." Like, I want everybody you to could, sample it, this. It's like, perfect like this, just for some sipping. This yeah. is a perfect amount of yeah, this. Yeah, exactly. I, I think drinking an entire bottle of that, I would be like, Ugh. Yeah. "Yeah." After, and that's not a knock on the beer. Right. It's like it's almost like Prairie, without saying it, wants it to be a shareable yeah. beer. Mm -hmm. Right. Would you say like it feels fantastic? Yeah. yeah. My grandma makes homemade. Like everything from scratch, carrot cake, and this is hitting damn near close to what really? her carrot cake tastes like. That's crazy. It tastes like a real carrot cake, and that's it's really getting me going here. Are you getting turned on? I mean, what are you doing? You're turned on. I'm moving over here. Oh. <laughs> now that's gonna do it for this first ever beer from a hat. First and last beer ever, from a hat. Ever. Ever. No, there'll be more. Yeah, there there will be more. Uh, thank you. Tone and Luke for joining me. Would you guys like to plug your shows while you're... Yeah, uh, don't forget you guys can always check Banter and Babble live every Wednesday at 9 p.m. on YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook now as well, too. Also, Friday nights, you can catch us for some raid stream gaming, things of that nature as well, too. So check us out at Banter and Babble on Twitch for any like show updates, things of that nature. Follow us our YouTube, follow our Facebook. We're pretty active in all as well, too, so... You'll be able to find our YouTube linked in the description to this because we don't have enough subscribers to have a custom URL. And all we do is talk about nonsense and um, waste our time. And yours. And yours. But it's fun. But that's what we all do. It's a lot of fun. If you like the comedy stylings that I have provided tonight. <laughs> this table used to be on the show. Yes. I gave it to Josh. This table was on the table. Because Josh only deserves secondhand materials. But until next time, keep your bridges full and have a great night. Is that good? Should no, I that was god awful. Okay. That was god awful. He put no effort into that. So be sure to check out both these guys out, their channels out. It's great stuff. I enjoy it. I'm there all the time for it. Whenever they let out a new video or let stream out? live. What are, the, what are our episodes? Farts? Yeah. Uh, please be sure to check out both their channels. Great content. Whenever they release new material, I'm there for it. Thursdays with Luke. Wednesdays. 9 o'clock with Banter and Babble, live on Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook. I'm there. Uh, I ran out and I ran out. You were on the right track. You were doing well. He can edit this. You got a good start. Yeah. But until next time, please keep your fridges full and have a great day.